Okay, so for this recipe, here are the ingredients you're going to be needing. You're going to be using onion powder, parsley flakes, some paprika, black pepper, sea salt, garlic powder, and a little bit of olive oil spray. Or you can use regular olive oil or whatever you have. Butter. I suggest olive oil though. That's what I used. So what we're doing here is I am just thawing out my tilapia because it was in the freezer. So if yours is not frozen, you can skip this step. Here, after it is thawed out, you want to make sure you pat dry your tilapia. You do not want it to be wet because you want your seasonings to stick. So just make sure that you pat dry both sides of your tilapia. So for the ingredients, we're going to be using two and a half tablespoons of paprika. I usually don't measure anything when I cook, but for the video, I'm going to measure it for you guys. I'm using one tablespoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and another tablespoon of parsley flakes you also want to make sure that you are using enough ingredients according to how much meat you have me i'm using five pieces of fish so just make sure you use discretion for how many pieces you're using make sure you give those ingredients a mix and you're ready to use it so before you put your ingredients on your fish you want to make sure you use your olive oil spray and directly spray the fish with the olive oil and you also want to spray the pan that you're going to be using as well in this case i have foil on top of my pan so just spray that foil and you should be good to go now you're going to just place your ingredients on top and just pat it all over your fish you want to make sure that it is looking like this you want all of the pieces of the fish to be covered completely in those ingredients once you do that you're just going to flip it and you're going to do the same thing to the other side because when cooking you always have to make sure whatever you do to one side you do to the other side so that is what i am doing here I would also suggest while you're doing this step to go ahead and preheat your oven to about 400 degrees. After we put these ingredients on our fish, we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. So that way all those ingredients and seasonings can soak into the fish. So now will be a good time to make sure that your oven is preheated and ready to go. Okay guys, so our oven is preheated. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my tilapia and place it onto the foil and get it prepared and ready for it to go into the oven. Before it goes into the oven, just make sure all the pieces of fish are covered and you want to spray it again with a little bit of olive oil. Now we are going to place our fish into the oven on 400 degrees and you're going to bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your oven. Me, I did it for 15 minutes and here is the outcome of how it looked once it came out. Once it's done, you want to just top it off with a little bit of lemon juice. It's your preference. I'm just using a bottle of lemon juice and that is all you do and here i'm going to plate it i made some rice and broccoli on the side using my rice cooker for the rice if you don't have a rice cooker then what are you doing it's the best thing ever you can use noodles you can cook rice you can do really whatever you want in a rice cooker you can steam fish it's a great thing so while all that was cooking my rice was also cooking and everything is now ready at the same time so you're just going to plate it get your rice honey get your fish put your fish over the rice and boom there you have it it looks so 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 good mm, mm, mm. y'all can't say that don't look good that looks good mm. 
And I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of parsley. Ain't nothing but a little bit of food grass to make it look pretty. And here is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys on my next video.